Oh, hey, we go back again with another video. Yesterday's is today is going to be a preview of Lincoln versus Sunderland down at the Sinsel Bank Stadium. Yes, Sunderland take on. Yes, wait for this. Second place, Lincoln City. Unbelievable. Sunderland are eight points, right? Eight points behind Lincoln City. Top of the table clash. We can't even say that. We can't even say that. Massive match. Imagine a few years ago in the Premier League. Massive match. Sunderland versus Chelsea. Sunderland versus Manchester City. Sunderland versus Manchester United. Now it's Sunderland taking on Lincoln City for a big six-pointer. How standards have dropped. No disrespect, Lincoln. You know, you're doing a fabulous job in League One. You've, you've climbed from the depths of despair of the, the National League, rose through League 2 into League 1. So well done, Lincoln City. You deserve all the praise you get. But as a Sunderland fan, I'm absolutely gutted how the seasons have gone over the last five or six. I mean, Michael Appleton, he's the manager of Lincoln City. Lincoln City won 4-1 last night in, yes, the Papa John's Trophy, like Sunderland did. Now, they get a 10,000 crowd capacity when this ground is allowed to be open and are Lincoln allowed fans? Are Lincoln allowed fans in this weekend? I'm sure they are so they have the home support there. Is it 2,000? Is it 4,000? I'm not quite sure. Depends what tea they're in. Now they were founded in 1884, 136 years young and are nicknamed the Imps. The last few games, like I said, the one last night, the time before that. Now they beat Rochdale away 2-0, they beat Wigan at home 2-1, what Sunderland couldn't do was beat Wigan at home 2-1. When we went 1-0 down, we stayed 1-0 down. Lincoln went 1-0 down. They had the bottle, the determination and the talent to turn it around to win 2-1. Then they went to Swindon, won 1-0 and had a nice draw against Akron and Stanley. who were not doing too bad themselves. So Lincoln are in second place. Fabulous going from Lincoln City. Now... Last night, there was a few people got the correct score right. Robert Charlton was the only person, sorry, Robert Edwards, not Robert Charlton, sorry, Robert Edwards, was the only person to get the correct score against Wigan. And the people who got the correct score last night was a 2-1 win against Oldham. Yes, back on winning ways, confidence breeds confidence. Even when you play against 16th place, Oldham Athletic in League 2. All of them did really well last night. You'd be proud of yourselves. Give yourself a good showing against Sunderland. Jacob Aviard had the correct score. Taffy Macken, a good old mate there. Tom W. Yes, Tom, all the way from down. Down, you know, you know, you know where you're from, Tom. Bradley Young, it was his birthday, the 18th birthday a couple of weeks ago. Or was it his 18th birthday coming up? Can't quite remember. Bradley, is it your 18th birthday this weekend, this Sunday? Is that Bradley Young? I'm sure it is. Might be wrong, never know. Ian Wheel, yes, my good old Mara Ian Wheel. Wayne Duran, yes, the good old moderator does a great job on my life. Puts up with my, my garbage chit-chat on the live streams. Probably wears earplugs as he's doing it. But yes, Wayne, thanks for doing a great job as a moderator. And Charlie Mac Macatea, Macavia, Macatea, Macatea. I last got that right. McKeever, Charlie McKeever, my old friend, I am. Yeah, sorry for pronouncing your name wrong but that's just when it's right over there I've only got one good eye so my right eye it's the focus in better that's better and angelic skin 77 got the correct 10 points can you get the correct score this weekend in that big big blockbuster of a match Lincoln City versus Sunderland down at the Sinsel Bank Stadium now you know what it is I'm going to predict I might look a bit foolish I have looked a bit foolish in the past and some say I look a bit foolish every time I make a video. But, but, I'm going to go for a 2-1 away victory yet again. Yes, another 2-1 away victory. I think Lee Johnson can sort this side out. I think he was impressed last night with Jack Diamond. I think Jack Diamond deserves a start on Saturday. And I think Lee Johnson will give him a start. I think Will Griggs showed a lot more determination last night. A lot more high press, pressed for that won that free kick when we got the winning goal so yeah will grigg has improved now we need more ammunition in that box for will grigg with more bodies from the midfield coming into the penalty box to help supply or help try and score the goals the defense is the problem bailey wright slow tom flanagan 
Well, Tom Flanagan, yes. Now, we have got Jordan Willis. Hasn't played particularly well all season. Now, that could be the reason because he's been injured for most of the season. Why has Phil Parkinson persisted on playing Jordan Willis with an injury all season? What we say he's not playing very well, he's not running very well, not passing the ball very well, this, that and the other. But if you have an injury, you can't perform to your, you know, your highest level. Now, a fifth Jordan Willis is back in training, could make it back. Maybe it's not this weekend, but in the future. And he could be an asset in the defence. A fifth Jordan Willis with his speed to help Bailey Wright, who suffers with a bit of pace. So it's a quick short one. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the channel. The live stream coming at you. Yes, from the old house. And hopefully we can start to get a bit of confidence behind the lads and get some victories. We cannot afford, we cannot afford at all to lose this match at the weekend. If we lose this match, the only thing we've got to look forward to is the Checker Trade Trophy, Papa John's Trophy. And that's it. Imagine 16 games in. 11 points behind second. That is absolutely shocking. It is shocking. It's not Lee's fault, Lee Johnson's fault. It's the players' fault. It's Phil Parkinson's fault. He's got a massive rebuilding job in his hand, Lee. And last night, the interview after the match, you know, he spoke really well. You know, he called, was it Big Big Chazza? Big Chazza for Charlie Wag. And was it uh, um, Patterson? Pato? So he likes to give people names, nicknames. So he seems like a decent bloke, this Lee Johnson. Hopefully, he'll be successful at Sunderland. Right, there you go. Like I said, leave your comment down below. Leave your score prediction down below. Can you get the correct score? And make sure it's a winning one. Right, we'll catch you later. Take care.